This is a story about Zack, an 11 year old boy about to go on his first adventure as a Pokemon trainer. He was very innocent and had his whole life ahead of him. It was a bright and sunny morning in the Alola region. Zack woke up to his mo mother calling him from downstairs. Zack ran downstairs where he saw his mom with his breakfast. He sat down across the table and promptly began eating his breakfast. Thanks, Mom, he said with a mouthful of food. You're welcome, honey, his mom replied. Zack finished his breakfast. His mom kissed him on the forehead and said, Bye, love you, honey. Remember not to go too far out on the beach. She had told him this every day before she went to work. As Zack loved playing on the beach, as soon as his mom left the house, he ran towards the beach that his house faced out onto. Zack loved the feeling of the sand between his toes, the fresh ocean breeze, and the occasional Pokemon that would pass by him. He sat by the water as ocean waves tickled his feet. He had the beach all to himself. Suddenly, he began to feel the sand beneath him shift. It felt like quicksand. Soon enough, his entire body was hidden under the sand except for his head. He couldn't move. He felt the sand get taking form around his head. Zack was trapped. He realized he was trapped inside of a pile of sand. He tried to scream for help, but the sand filled his mouth, gagging him. Zack waited in hopes that someone would see him inside the pile of sand. He waited for hours. No one came. No one would find him. He wanted out, but he couldn't move. The weight of the sand crushed his limbs. Days went by. Every time the palisand opened its mouth, the air stung his throat. He missed his mom. He missed his life. For weeks, he sat there. No one would look for him because they thought he was out on an adventure. He watched as life went by and the sand filled his lungs. His eyes were dry. Everything hurt. He wanted to die, but he couldn't. Over time, Zack's mind began to deteriorate. He started talking to himself. He talked with himself so much that he didn't even notice when he was hearing other voices in his head that weren't his own. He delved further and further into insanity with the voices in his head. Through the voices and his agony, he began to feel movement. He could move. Between the screaming voices and the unbearable pain, he clawed his way out from under the sand. No, more sand. He was still in incredible pain, but he was free. He had forgotten the feeling of movement, but he felt something else. He felt heavy. He felt hungry. Whatever he was, he was no longer Zack. This is a story about a girl named Stacy, a 16-year-old who was up late one night partying with her friends. She was very innocent and had her whole life ahead of her. It was dark out. The only thing illuminated in the streets were a few lampposts and the moon. As Stacy walked back towards her house, she thought she saw a barbarical hidden in the shadows. When she got a closer look, she realized that this barbarical looked different. It had blood stained on its body. Flesh melted around its body. And its head. Oh, its head. It looked like the head of a young boy's corpse. The abomination stumbled toward her, gagging, looking like it wanted to swallow her whole. Stacy screamed.